Hey, this is Adia Rogers. Thank you so much for watching. In today's society, we are taught that in order to progress to that next level of career adva advancement um, and employment, that we should take advantage of mentoring opportunities and or coaching opportunities. For those of us that are transitioning or doing any sort of a self and professional development, sometimes we hire coaches to help us get to a certain level or to accomplish certain tasks and goals. I do think that there is a difference between mentoring and coaching, even though a lot of people um, use those words interchangeably, but I think there are some fundamental differences that I want to share with you today that may help you in um, deciding which service, mentoring and or coaching, is right for you. I believe that there are seven distinctions between mentoring and coaching. The first one being, mentoring is more about the mentor. Coaching is more about you. So in a mentoring relationship, you are hearing how that particular person achieved the success that they had, how they got there, what they did, the, uh, the sacrifices that they had to make, the, the adjustments that they had to make in their life, the, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly of getting to where they are, which is ultimately where you want to be as well. What are your goals? What is it that you ultimately want to achieve? In a mentoring relationship, time with that mentor is often dictated by the mentor. It's based on their um, availability. Whereas in a coaching relationship, it is more dictated by you. Obviously, the coach has some parameters and times of availability, but you ultimately get to decide if you do it in the morning, if you do it in the evening, if you do it on your lunch hour, uh, things, uh, things like that. I think this is one of the core distinctions between a mentoring and a coaching relationship. In a mentoring relationship, there doesn't necessarily have to be a whole lot of work on your part in order for it to be successful. You can learn a lot, gain a lot, develop a lot without having to do a whole lot. Yet just by listening and um, exposing yourself and maybe um, being a part of some of the things that your mentor does and is going through, you're able to glean and to learn and to um, get some tips and some best practices and some ways of doing things that you wouldn't normally be able to receive or that you maybe have to learn the hard way on your own. However, in a coaching relationship, the success of it really is dependent upon you. It's dependent upon you doing the hard work, you doing the heavy lifting, you making sure that you accomplish whatever the goals and the tasks that you and your coach mutually agree upon um, during your coaching session. In a mentoring relationship, the momentum is sort of driven um, primarily by the mentor. and. That means that, you know, what they feel like they want to share, what, they, what it is that they feel like they want you to learn and to glean from them, they sort of dictate that and they sort of drive that part of your relationship. Whereas in a coaching relationship, um, the momentum is driven by you. As, as quickly as you work, as slow as you work, that is driven by you. Uh, and so your momentum is really self-paced when you're in a coaching relationship. In my opinion, in order for a mentoring relationship to be uh, most beneficial, there it may be somewhat specific to a particular skill or to a particular industry or to a particular um, goal at, in mind. Whereas coaching can be a little bit more broad, a little bit more general, and it can cover multiple topics. You may talk about um, business setup, but you may also talk about image, you may talk about customer service, you may talk about lots of different things in a coaching relationship that you may just touch on in a mentoring relationship. In a successful mentoring relationship, it is, it is relationship based. It is based on the rapport that you have with your mentor. 
usually there is some sort of chemistry there but even between the two of you mentor and mentee that causes you to for them that causes the mentor to want to invest his or her time into you it causes you the mentee to invest in yourself by spending time with that mentor in the coaching relationship it is more task or performance based meaning that we are looking for some deliverables we're looking for things that you produce as a result of our time together in a mentoring relationship the driving force is your development and that it can be tangible but it can also be intangible in a coaching relationship it is performance driven did you complete that vision um, board did you complete your uh, business plan did you complete your audience uh, survey so you can know who your target audience is in a coaching relationship we are again looking for those deliverables looking for those tangible things that help you make progress and create momentum and ultimately accomplish the goal that you set forth in your coaching relationship so there you have it those are my seven fundamental differences or distinctions between a mentoring and a coaching relationship. I do hope this information helped you, helped guide you, helps you understand the difference and maybe what type of relationship is best for you. I do suggest actually having both types of relationships. I do suggest at various points and times in your your professional and your personal life that you may need the services of a mentor and a coach. So I hope that this video helps you discover um, and determine what the distinctions are and which type of relationship is most beneficial to you at this point in your development. If you have any further questions or you would like to discuss this more, feel free to email me at thetrendysocialite at gmail.com or leave your comment below. Take care and be blessed.